Weekly Coroner has released how a Rock Valley College professor and his two sons were killed over the weekend. All three suffered gunshot wounds to the head. The suspected murder-suicide led to the deaths of 58-year-old Peter Ruckman and his two sons, 14-year-old Christopher and 12-year-old John. I mean, I am just, I'm disturbed. And a lot of my staff here, and there's a number of people that are um, shocked by this as well. Um, that's why we have... We met over the weekend and we started to implement a, um, a response plan for crisis and grief counseling. Rockman taught at Rock Valley College for 30 years. Both Rockman's young boys attended Rockford Christian. Vigils for them could be seen at their lockers and all around the school today, including countless notes of remembrance of both. School officials also say both had a noticeable impact at the school. I'd just like to say that uh, we do grieve the loss of these uh, fine young men. They were a presence in our school, um, and I'm very thankful for the way everyone has responded today to come together as a community and a family to help through this crisis. The Winnebago County coroner confirms that the man police believed killed his two sons and then turned a gun on himself is a Rock Valley College professor. P.S. Ruckman taught political science and was frequently seen on television providing expert opinion on the issues of the day. There's evidence to suggest they're operating on a perception. This was P.S. Ruckman in an Eyewitness News interview back in 2014. Professor Ruckman, who started at Rock Valley College back in 1988, had built a reputation as an expert on local and national politics, a go-to source for analysis of breaking political news as it happened. This was Ruckman reacting to then-President Obama's formal recognition of Cuba. I think it's a great day for ideas. Now, if this, if this stuff comes to fruition, then, uh, yeah, it could be... Uh, you know, an epic kind of landmark day in terms of international relations. So it was a true shock to many, including many in the media, when they learned what happened inside his home on Shandon Woods Drive in rural Winnebago County. 58-year-old Ruckman and his two children, 14-year-old Christopher and 12-year-old John, found shot dead inside his home. Police investigating it as a double murder-suicide. Winnebago County Coroner Bill Hintz had to examine the scene himself. Well, it's very, very difficult, you know, in minor, the, the children, no, being the innocent bystanders and in whatever took place, um, and, and just the, the sorrow and the sadness for the remaining family members, you know, that are alive, that have to go through and, and uh, deal with this. There were signs of domestic turmoil in Ruckman's life. Divorce proceedings from his wife were finalized last year. A hearing in November held to determine a parenting plan for his two children, which leaves the question, why would a man so respected by his colleagues and valued in his community commit such a horrific act? We'll likely never know. A uh, very, very sad situation. Very, very tragic. Rock Valley College President Dr. Doug Jensen released a statement this afternoon. He says that Rock Valley College community is devastated by the news of the tragic deaths of Peter Ruckman and his two children. Our deepest sympathies go out to the family, friends, and colleagues of Professor Ruckman and his children at this difficult time. Counselors will be made available to staff and students on the Rock Valley campus this week. At 7.20 this morning, deputies uh, were dispatched to this address for a welfare check. Uh, deputies entered the house with a, with a key. Uh, the house was locked up. We discovered uh, uh, two children and an adult male uh, deceased of uh, apparent gunshot wounds. Any idea who made the call initially? Or Yes, we were met here by uh, an ex-spouse. Did she have any sort of concerns about what was going on? Or? Um, at, at this point, it was just uh, haven't, haven't uh, heard from them in a couple of days. Uh, it was her weekend for uh, custody of the kids. Uh, deputies made entry into the house and made the discovery. Are you guys investigating this as a domestic uh, violence situation? Or? Um, I think the uh, press release indicated the, uh, the dynamic was father and children. Where were they found in the house? Um, in, in their bedrooms. All three of them in their respective bedrooms? Yes. Um, what can you say about it? This is, you said it's domestic. Uh, you, uh, or, um, 
is domestic. What uh, can you say about the dynamic with the family and the, and the estranged uh, ex-wife? Uh, that's still under investigation. We're trying to figure out what exactly the dynamic was and what may have led up to this tragedy.